Hello everyone, so I'm back. <laughs> um, I have a few things I need to sort into my binder and I thought why not do it together. So here I am. These are all the things I'm putting away today. Most of it is GOT7, we only have one Stray Kids card. The rest hopefully are coming pretty soon because yeah, I ordered more albums than only one. Um, but yeah, let's put that all aside and get started. I was just gonna sort everything into my vinyl like I would if I would do it alone. <laughs> Makes sense, right? So yeah, I need to put everything out of the way so I can put my binder down here. There we go. And I'm also like leaving all the things because I think I didn't even said that in my last video. But I'm always double sleeving all my things, so I'm not only putting it into the pockets right here, I'm also double sleeving it. Double sleeving it. <laughs> that sounded just completely wrong. And I'm using these are these penny sleeves, I think so, yeah. Those are from Dragon Shield, the clear classic ones, just so you all know. Let's get started. We have a young Jack got it card. So put it into the pocket sleeve, eh, not the pocket sleeve, a penny sleeve and putting it in. And that was my dog in the background. There we go. <laughs> and yay, we're completing a set. I have the last God Love chip right here, which is Bam Bam's. Oh, the feeling of completing a set is just really, really good. <laughs> Putting this in. And I just thought that this <laughs> gray one is too small, but that's okay. Um, I also have like a list beside me where I need to write down all the stuff I still need to do <laughs> because as you saw in my last video there's some weird stuff going on and I don't know <laughs> what happened there but we will hopefully get that in order pretty soon nothing for just right oh no that was wrong we have something for just right we have two postcards we have Yang Jie postcard and Mark postcard um as you can see I blend my um, binder when I didn't have the cards on hand yet. That is why they're pretty big. I also have um, smaller four pocket sleeves, but I'm not using them right now. I decided to just use the big ones because I already put everything in. Putting everything into penny sleeves and then putting it into the pockets. For the penny sleeves for this card, oh that's crooked, um, I'm using, I can show you these right now, these are also from Ultra Pro, which basically most of my stuff is, um, yeah, there you can see the measurements, oh no, wrong, <laughs> oh no, right, those were the Ultra Pro ones, everything is right. I put marks in and I have young jazz left. Didn't I also put a penny sleeve? Oh, left it here. Putting this out and putting in the young J card. I think this will happen a lot to me. <laughs> like getting stuff and then realizing that it will not fit into the pockets I decided to use because I'm starting pretty late with my collection and I just don't have all the stuff on hand so no problem I can change it anytime we have got seven mad the young J card why am I always saying got seven <laughs> I mean you clearly can see that this is got seven putting it in Nothing for Mad Winter Edition, because I need to get the album for that. Flylock Departure. We have quite a few 
boarding passes. I just need to sort it out. We have JB. So in this case, I also sorted it uh, leader and then the age or so. First everything with JB, then the rest with Mark, Jin Young, and so on and so on. Uh, Jackson, again, first everything with JB, Mark, Jackson, Jin Young. You know what I mean. Oh, that was the bubble. So we have JB. JB, Mark, Jackson, Jin Young, another Mark, should come before the Jackson and Mark, no, after it, and Jin Young and Yu Yang, so that should be the right order. The boarding cards, I'm not double sleeving because I couldn't find any pockets that fit them. We have JJ Project. We don't have anything from here, but we have Jackson and Mark. Mark and you, Guillaume, right here. And in case everyone, anyone is wondering, um, these are sleeves from Veloflex, they're called. So I searched a while to find ones that are fitting for those. We have Jackson and you, you're next. I'm quite happy that I had a lot of those because to be honest, they're pretty hard to find for me. I mean, I find them quite often, but then it's not attached anymore. So I'm pretty happy that I got a lot of them in today. I got them for pretty cheap, actually they were like Three to four euros each, so it's totally fine. And Jin Yang and Yu Yang. There we go. No more boarding pass, but nope, <laughs> not even a card. But we have something for arrival. It should be arrival, yeah. We have this Jin Young card and this Jackson card for arrival. Both go onto this side. Taking a penny sleeve. And I also um, like to put the cards in like the wrong way. So here's the opening, I put it in the wrong way and then the opening downwards. So even the top would be protected if something would happen to it. And Jin Yang. Sorry again for the really bad lighting. <laughs> Once again, I'm filming at night. So I need to use like that lamp. And that's the only light source I have right now. Of four triangles, we have two, which are Mark and JB. And they're both from the second press of 747. I also have some sleeves that they're fit. And these are these ones, they're from Docs Magic. I have no idea what kind of brand it is. I just found them on eBay, so and they fit, so I used them. They fit just perfectly in here, which is so cool. Like on the millimeter exactly they fit. <sighs> this card, this JB card is just... Uh, I'm really happy that I found it. <laughs> and it was a real struggle. Like when you find it, it's just oftenly really overpriced and it's actually really hard to find it even overpriced but I found it yay 
I also find this smart card. Found the smart card. Oh, these four pocket sleeves are always hard to open. Put it out and put that in. There we go. Making it straight. Yes. That was it for the 7 for 7 albums. Don't have anything. Oh no, I have something left. I have a Mark card left and a Yu-Gi-Oh card left. After the units. So I have one Mark first press card. Selfie left. Which? Where's the opening? Here it is. Put it in. Straightening out the filler at the back. Because it's also bothering me if it's not straight. And off to the second press. Well, we have the yu gi -Oh card. The next album we have something for is the Eyes on You. Let me straighten it out first. There we go. Is Eyes on You. Nothing for the red border, but we have something for the. I have no idea what those versions are called. It's like, I think it's A and B, is it? I'm not quite sure. Oh no! <laughs> Which one is? Can't get the card off. No, there we go. Um, is it the A and B version? I'm not sure right now. I call it like the dark version and the color version, but it's not the right one, way to say it. I know that. There we go. Also, one almost completed version. All, only Bam Bam is missing right here. Then we have something for present you. The pre order cards are already finished. No lyric card. But we have a bookmark. There we go. Putting in Jin Yang's bookmark, which is already already in a sleeve, so I don't need to double sleeve it. There. And we also have some photo cards for this album. We have a lot of photo cards for this album, actually. We have two clear cards, one mark card. Oh wow, that's damaged. Already saw it now from some tape or something. Okay. Um, and two lullaby versions. Let's put in the clear cards first. So the set is also almost completed, only one card is missing. Got the group card right here and only Jinyan card is missing. There we go. Four more cards to go for this album. We have Mark's photo card where, he, where he's holding the Agase. Agase, Agase, whatever you want to call it, however you want to pronounce it. Cards for this version. We have Hugium, Mark, and JB. Let's put in Mark first. Then Hugium. And lastly, JB. I 
actually really like these um, penny sleeves because they're a lot sturdier than the ultra pro ones so I really like those and I also don't like the circle on the ultra pro ones yes so only missing Jackson and Yang Che for this version and we have one card for press and you and me which is this mark card which also has some damage oh I only see it now on the sliding it was from the same set or so oh, don't know if I'm gonna buy there again we have the smart card I mean that's also a really nice point of having those fillers in the back if something like a little bit cricket here like here you're not gonna see it and also if you have it in the penny sleeve and also in your pocket usually it not really shown if any, anything is damaged. There we go. And that was it for this binder. We have one card. No, we have actually two cards. No, we have one card for the second. Got seven Korean album cards. Just need to make sure that everything is on camera. There we go. We have one spinning top card. If I can pick it up again, oh, my nails. One JB spinning top card. So let's get to the postcards right here. And put in JB's version. I thought I pulled this card. I was so sure that I pulled this card and this card in my albums. But somehow I can't find it. So I traded for it. There we go. And as you can see here now, I don't know if anyone else notices uh, notice it at, besides me. I have like a gray border around every card here because I changed the gray fillers to bigger ones in the new binders. So that was everything for the Korean album binder, the second one. Let's get out the Japanese one. Good. First off we have Around the World. <sighs> I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this collection. <laughs> they have like these two different cards. I'm not sure if I want to collect those or those or if I'm just gonna take the ones I get and have like a mixed side or take what I can get and change it up later or I am not quite sure what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so for now I'm just gonna take the cards I can get and maybe change it up later. That's my plan for right now. We have that mark. Oh, let's see what else do we have for this binder. Okay, that's everything later. So no album cards, but we have something for here. We have wrote you the tour. We have the photo cards, but we also have the postcards for this album and also some stickers. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do for this. <laughs> I know that um, we're gonna put the postcards, uh, the photo cards in here because they fit just nicely. And I was just gonna add, like, if I have some cards, I will add them. And if not, I was just gonna keep it like this. And what I decided to do with those stickers for now, I was just gonna put them in here. If I, like, get another postcard, I need to add another sleeve. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna add, like, another four pocket sleeve or another eight pocket sleeve. I'm not quite sure yet. But for now, it looks like this. Yeah. <laughs> I just. Nah, never mind. <laughs> Um, and we have some lovely tool cards. We have Bam Bam for this side. Whoops, there we go. So first one on this side and we also have a mark for, oh, that was wrote to you. Oh no. 
Love Loop album, Sing For You album, Swagger. Where is it? There it is. No, it's not. Next one. There it is. <laughs> Just flipped over it. So we have one for Road To You. Also, the Mark one. But we have a Batman for Love Loop. That's what I was thinking about for this one. And we have two cards left for the Spiner. Nothing for the Tours, but for the Light Stick versions. Gotta be honest, I'm also really proud of this side because those cards are also really rare because they were like for the first light stick generation and only at the concert and so on and so on so they are pretty hard to find so i'm gotta be honest i'm a little bit proud to have that many and i have young jake coming on the mail so i'm only missing jackson and mark for this one and now for the problematic part of this video. It's basically only problematic for me, but that's okay. I have this JB Eyes on You card from the Thailand edition. And I have no idea how I'm gonna store it. I'm probably gonna take like a big four pocket sleeve or I don't know right now. I'm just gonna put it in so it's secure and safe. I'm just gonna put it into a, four, uh, a small four pocket sleeve and decide on it later. What I'm also gonna add in here, oh, I forgot to put that somewhere, um, is this Taiwan edition and also his cash B card. I'm just gonna add it in so it's in <laughs> and gonna do something with it later. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And for this right here, that's Chap and showcase meet me. Oh, which era was it? I think I need to find it out later on. Uh, why is Bambam here? No, who is it? Oh, it's JB. Why is JB here? That's what I'm talking about. They always fall out. Ah, JB belongs in here. But I'm not quite sure which era it was. And I know I remember like the line interview they did <laughs> where he, they have all the squishies and all that stuff but I don't remember which era is it. it is right now. Never mind, I'm gonna put that in later. So that was it for this binder as well. And we have one last binder to go. There we go. Oh no, I missed something. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I knew I had some more for the other binder. Okay, let's pick it out again. As you can see, my binders look pretty organized, but my head isn't. <laughs> so let's take out the second Korean album binder out again. <laughs> oh, sometimes I'm just not structured at all. I have something for the units. Um, verse two, I have one lyric card. The Jin Yang one. And I'm also gonna double sleeve this one. I'm not only double sleeving it because it like protects it, but I'm also double sleeving it because I somehow have the feeling that they're not moving around that much if I do it like that. Oh wait, which did I do it like this? Yeah, oh need to change it. Yep, that's why I'm also double sleeving like the bigger things because I don't know, I think they're not moving around that much. Putting that in here, putting this out. So Jin Yang is completed. And I have one thing left for a focus. That goes like here. I have these also showcase. There we go, focus on me. From their showcase, those bigger cards. I have the two, two unit ones and two JB ones. And I have the other two JB ones in the mail. And 
I will see when I buy like the UDM ones, but for now it's only JB and the units. We will see later on. So let's put them in. First the two units. And I also need to make the cray fillers for this. I didn't had some pre-cut for now. There we go. And we have the two JB ones. So that was really it for the GOT7 binder. <laughs> I have one last thing to put away and that's my Stray Kids card. So I pre-ordered the new Japanese release from Stray Kids. There we go. I pre-ordered all three versions, like all the versions except for the cassette one. Weird thing, I thought every order comes with like the, the solo card. Weirdly, I only got this card, but I only received two copies right now. Can someone please explain to me what happened? I'm, I don't know. I think I just made a mistake and thought of it wrong. But for now, I'm putting this in. Oh, I need to put some holes in it. Um... I thought that the solo cards are like the pre-order thing. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I got it completely wrong. Please just enlighten me. But uh, like I said, I have more copies coming in. So maybe I have some in there. That's why I'm also not putting it on my wish list for right now. Because I only have this card and more coming in. Hopefully coming in. And I also we're gonna put the cray for this one for this one. But we're gonna do that another time. So yeah, that was it for all my binders. The Strakers binder is, is still same emptiness as before. Yeah, that was it for today. I hope you had a little bit fun watching me doing the organizing and getting confused once again, just like before. <laughs> yeah, and if someone can answer me the question about Stray Kids, about the new album, Please tell me about it in the comments or write me on Instagram. That's totally fine. Please have a nice evening, a nice morning, whenever you're watching this. Bye!